Oh, hi, hi everyone, welcome to the bonus video of the Crash to Insanity series. In the last part, you may have noticed I was yelling quite a fair bit. And for good reason. God, that boss fight, oh my heavens. Now, for some reason, when you actually finish the game, it takes you back to Iceberg Labs. Which I think is for the fact that it takes you to Cortex's laboratory. Like when we first encounter it and everything, but... For this, we are going to be going through... All the gym extras, and as you may have seen... We have a full 100%, and because of that... We can now view the 100% bonus video, but as it seems to be in a sequential order... We are going to go through all of the gem extras, and then lastly, we'll leave it with a 100% the bonus video. So having said that, let's actually see what the what are the extras for the blue gem. There's a lot of boss galleries. Oh my head! Ah, oh, that's it. It's literally just like a slideshow. So we just get what? Oh come on! You have to do it one at a time. When did we ever see that boss fight? Okay, yep, the totem god. Well, sort of. Why are some of these animations though? Some of them are cool as. <laughs> so it seems to be... You see the normal character, or normal drawing, and then you see like a, just a cartoonish version of it. You know, some of these actually aren't that bad. I. I kind of prefer the cartoonish style over the actual character themselves. You know, I kind of wish the game was actually in the cartoonish style, sort of. You can still... you still have a sense of who or what they are, but also... Uh, the Blue Gem one was kind of disappointing. Oh my god, there's movies? All right, we'll go. Th Let's check out these movies. Oh, what the hell? I love this. <laughs> That's awesome. Ew, Crash. Ah, oh, disgusting. <laughs> Oh, I think these are like motion tests. Just to see how the characters look when they move and just their idle well not idle. And just their animations and everything. Love that. <laughs> you could easily just make that as a gif. Um. 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 Game. What the hell happened here? My game glitched out! Aw, oh, what the butts? Well, anyway, hold up. I'll reset the game and I'll be back. Okay, we are back. For some reason, the game glitched out on me, but we are back viewing all the movies from the clear gems. Ah, oh, now we've got the actual cutscenes, I think. So the first four were basically just like motion testing. Like how characters move. Now we've got the actual in-game cutscenes. Well, we've seen these throughout the playthrough, so there's no real reason to watch any of these. Yeah, well, we've seen that already. Is it? Yes. We've seen all these. Aw, oh, man. Really? So that's all we get for the clear gem? No. Well, I just want to see what they are. I'm not going to watch them all. I didn't want to rewatch it, thank you. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are all just in... Actually, what's movie 16 then? <laughs> ah, that. That makes sense. Okay, so we've done that. So now we've just got enemy gallery. Ah. I thought it was an actual slideshow. I was about to be ecstatic about it. So each enemy gallery seems to just go through two enemies willy-nilly. Now we've got Papu Papu and we've got Farmer Ernest. 
So far, that's the only characters I know of in this whole game. Although, I do love these penguins. Wait, hold on. Are those the cameras from Crash 1? Did they just give them legs? I think they actually did. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, that seal scared the balls off me when we had to run away from it. Oh, that poor... Oh, that bloody bear. Poor Cortex. Having to get chased around. I mean, real... What? Oh, those hall monitors. Oh, they suck. Actually, where is that stupid enemy that I hate so much? Where is it? No, not the gargoyle looking rat. Well, well yes, them. I oh, care okay, that they went there, that's fine. Thank you, this is what I want to see. I want to see concept art. Oh wow. This is the sort of stuff that the gem extra should be. Oh wow. Crash was gonna have actual facial animations? Why didn't they go with this? Why is the concept art so much cooler? What is this? I oh man. Oh that's cool, man. I wish they went with it. They would have had a double jump? Oh my god, why did they not go with that? That would have been cool that- I would have loved to have been able to double jump. <laughs> Love that. Man, the concept art is kind of better than the actual end game result. Well, for some of them. Aw oh, man, these are cool. Poco was going to be a playable character? Well, I guess it would have essentially just been like a rehash of Crash 3 if you think about it. Well, that in the Insane Trilogy. Don't tell me there was going to be like a world in black and white. I guess you could say Twin Sanity Island was the inverted Insanity Island. Anyway, so it kind of doesn't really change anything on how it was. That actually looks pretty cool. Oh. How cute was that? Wait, what? Oh, the storyboard, okay. Well, we've seen those, so it doesn't matter. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't have mind I wouldn't mind seeing the storyboard for each like area. They're very in-depth storyboards, you have to admit. But I love the fact they had Cortex dressing up as Coco, that was pure genius. And have him do like a female, like a high-pitched voice. It was bloody funny as. Poor Cortex getting knocked into the freaking abyss. Oh, this is going to take forever, honestly. <laughs> you know, I'm more than likely just going to... Well, I don't know why I'm mentioning it, because by the time I do it, it'll be from, like, early in the video anyway, but... I guess just for people that aren't really familiar with it, I will have background music to this, so it's not just silence. Okay, so we've got the... Oh, this boss fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You meet all the enemy characters, Cortex twitches, it seems. 
He gets his mecha to try and defeat us. He fails spectacularly. Okay, I love... I love the facial animations for Pinstripe. I, uh, I think that's Koala Kong and Dingo Dial. I love them. <laughs> that was great. Them fighting, I guess. Okay, this has actually taken way longer than it needs to, so... I would show the storyboards, but it's taken forever. Ooh, unsee... What? Oh, this would have been cool! You see, like, un... Well, we know what the... We know what Victor and Maurice look like. Though. See, I think these are, like, unseen designs that they would have had for them. Oh, these are cool, eh? They are adorable! Oh, hello! Oh, I like the chickens! Oh, you're so very small! Oh, hello! Oh, I just wanted more! What the hell? Why couldn't they have these in? Instead of the end Oh, come on! That would have been cool! <laughs> Wait, they cut out a whole level? Oh man! Bandicoot City? That would have been awesome! It could have given like a... Ooh, I like that! That's a way cooler art! That would have been a way cooler cover! Than what we actually got! These are cool! What the hell, man? Even some of the enemy designs, they look fantastic! What? I can't... I'm actually annoyed, man. I am actually really annoyed. See, look at these cool characters we could have had in the game. Instead of what we get. Man, I'm so bummed. Oh, please don't tell me there could have been a futuristic level. Do not be telling me that. We could have had a futuristic level, and I'm really bummed about that right now. Well, at least we're getting close. That, that enemy reminds me of from Donkey Kong Country 2, the crocodiles you stamp on. I feel like there's one more gem and then the 100% ending, but at the same time, I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping it's just more of an unseen gallery because I love some of the enemies they would have had. Man, I wish they had these enemies. There's actually a lot of stuff that was cut that they never even thought of. Well, not that they didn't think of bringing in, but it just got cut. So, you know what? I'll be back in them. Before we do the 100% bonus video, we're bringing back Crash Fact. What? Crash Facts. Yeah, we're bringing that back. It's the last video of the series, so you know what? We are bringing that back. So, hold on. Let me get my notes. Okay, so it seems for the last time in this series, let's bring back a little segment I like to call Crashed Facts, was formerly known as Random Facts and Trivia. As you may have noticed, this game actually was rushed and there was content that had to be scrapped for various reasons, more due to technical limitations and just time restraints. An example being, like, before the final boss fight against Victor and Moritz, there's the cutscene where somehow Entropy, Embryo, and Dingo Dial are in that room of treasure with Crash, Cortex, and Nina. Oh my, I almost forgot. The treasure. Our treasure. Yes, we are rich. That treasure is stolen property. It's a little late to develop a conscience, Doctor. Personally, I don't care, but I think he might want his gems back. 
<laughs> hmm. There was actually a cutscene that explains why, like how Entropy, Embryo, and Dingo Dial found out about the Evil Twins' treasure. So that's for that. Also, ah, Fate Crash was intended to make a cameo where he was going to be stranded with Crunch on a small island next to Insanity Island, but that got scrapped due to technical reasons. And before the, the game was settled on being titled Crash Twin Sanity, other titles that were proposed include like the following. Crash Bandicoot Evolution, Crash Bandicoot Fully Fluxed, Crash Bandicoot Tandemonium, Crash Bandicoot A Whole New Dimension, and lastly, Crash Bandicoot Unlimited. Honestly, I would have preferred if they went with Crash Bandicoot a... Actually, no, Crash Bandicoot Fully Fluxed would have been an interesting title for it. Because it kind of makes sense in terms of Cortex and his love of science and inventions and all that. So I feel like that would have actually worked. And as I mentioned in the previous video, Crash Twin Sanity is actually the worst home, worst selling home console crash game. It's actually the third, the third worst selling crash game overall, after Crash Purple, Ripto's Rampage, and on the Game Boy Advance, and Crash Boom Bang, which was sold on the Nintendo DS. And lastly, this is actually the first time that Cortex is playable in the main series and it's also the first game in which Nina is playable. Obviously Cortex becomes playable in other Crash games in the future as well as Nina, but for the time being the, this is the first time that both of those characters are actually playable ever. So that concludes our segment Crash Facts. So back to the actual video. Alright, so we've done that. Now, because we collected all the gems in the game, as evident by this lovely screen, and you have to see every single gem, so all the hub areas, we've collected every single gem, it unlocks this. So now for the last time in the series, let's check out this special ending. What the hell was that? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, what a... That's so anticlimactic! Are you serious? That's all you get? Okay, the gem extras are a nice touch, but what the hell was that 100% video? Nothing of substance happened. It shows Crash having being able to perform a Hadouken, Crash picking up a sword, Crash doing martial arts kicks, and what else again? Let's have a quick look. So you have Crash moving around, Crash performing the Hadouken, Crash just looking, what, doing martial arts, which I feel is like a telling of... Well, yeah, and Crash picking up a sword. Yeah, the martial arts, I feel, is like a telling of... Crash Titans, and like that sort, and that spin-off series of games. But what the heck was that? That is so anticlimactic, I'm actually disappointed. Okay, I feel like there had to have been like a cutscene planned, but it was due to time restrictions and technical reasoning that it just got left out. Because no way could they have thought of having that as the 100% like bonus video and thinking, our oh, fans are going to be happy with this. I'm not. I'm disappointed as hell. It's just like Super Mario 64's bonus my collectibles all over again. Yeah, if you remember from that series I 
did, which was like just before Crash to Insanity and Jack and Dax the Precursor Legacy, we collected all 120 stars. What was our prize for getting 100%? 99 lives that have no use. A sparkly triple jump. And just... You can use the wing cap to fly around the, the courtyard of Peach's castle. So again, all disappointing prizes. This falls under that category of a fun game with a disappointing bonus. Man, that sucks. I was really looking forward to that as well. You know what, hold up. As I mentioned in that last video, I've been watching this YouTuber called Prasafia Gaming who was doing a long play of Crash to Insanity. It was more to help me figure out where some gems are because I was trying to get 100%. So I'm going to watch his video, see what a 100% ending looks like, and then I'll come back and I'll figure out how I'm going to show that to you. So I'll be back soon. Oh, I am viewing right now. It turns out a special cutscene is on. Yeah, well, as we saw from here. We have the 100% from the special, the extras menu. The cutscene varies between regions. So unfortunately, we get that crappy ending in the... So the power region gets that crappy ending. Wow, what the hell's that about? So you're telling me the power region, we just get what's essentially a motion capture test. Of Crash doing various things, like lifting a sword, showing a Hadouken, some martial arts moves, and he picks up the sword. That's what the Power Region gets for 100% completion, yet... From what... I was what... Yeah, from as I said, the Prosafia, he gets like a special actual movie cutscene in this. Instead, I'm stuck with watching Crash dance. Oh, I'm so jibbed. Well, anyway, I'm sorry we had to end it on such an anticlimactic note. But join me next time when we actually start a new series as to what it may be. I am still contemplating all that. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. <laughs> I will see you all next time. I'll see you all soon. And again, sorry for that anticlimactic ending.